the previous lecture we were discussing about uh, input resistance of the op amp and we had shown how to compute the input resistance and also we had discussed what are the errors associated with the input resistance and so on. Uh, uh, and we also had some given an example uh, with respect to pH uh, uh, measurement. So, in this class we discuss about uh, output resistance of the op amp and the errors associated with the output resistance and then uh, how to tackle this output resistance uh, uh, issues in the op amp. This output resistance also an important issue which uh, often uh, ignored by the by, by most of the designers. So, today we discuss about output resistance of the op amp. Uh, the first thing is that conventionally they think that you know the output resistance of the op amp which I call as R0 output resistance of the op amp. that conventionally it is taken as 0, but actually it is not 0. This is the thing that we want to sell, the, that is output resistance of the op amp is not 0. Of the op amp is not 0 and the second point is it varies with the gain it varies with the gain because uh, even for a given op amp the output range is not 0 and also it is not constant it varies with the gain and this must be understood actually uh, uh, clearly and uh, the changes that is coming because of that to be applied uh, uh, carefully. So, let us see what is the what do you mean by output reasons first because uh, uh, we want before getting into what is the output resistance of the op amp, let us see what is the uh, output resistance. Because if I have a source, for example, if I have a source, now we have a resistance here, we call this as an internal resistance, for example, this is a battery, it has its own internal resistance. Now, this battery is a source now, say, say 12 volt. So, battery source it has its internal res resistance and then you have a load here. Now, if I look at the voltage across this that is the what is the voltage across this, this voltage is actually not 12 volt this V is not equal to 12 volt because there is a current I in this that current actually goes through this uh, internal resistance or I call this is a, a small r. So, there is a voltage drop on the internal resistance. So, voltage drop voltage drop on the internal resistance r r is equal to r into i because I is the I is the current that is flowing. So, if I take I is the current then the inner uh, voltage drop is uh, V R into R into I. So, the output load voltage is load voltage load voltage is 12 volt minus R into I. So, output voltage actually changes with the load. The, that depends upon what is the internal resistance of the uh, internal resistance R of the battery. So, output because I when I changes then when I changes then load voltage that is uh, we call V load is equal to 12 minus R into I. Then with the uh, uh, current the load voltage changes. So, with current with load current, load current uh, output volt, uh, load voltage changes. In this case, we have taken a battery and uh, R is taken as internal resistance. 
Now, uh, this is true for any uh, source because if, if, uh, uh, not only for the battery for example, if I take uh, operation amplifier then we take operation amplifier then we have say some input voltage and then some uh, I given some input voltage here then I get the output voltage here uh, V i V 0 and then the output voltage if I change the load here. I change the load here, this output voltage changes, V0 changes, that is output voltage, output voltage, voltage of the up amp, up amp, changes with the load resistance. Now, the uh, this is because we have to draw the equivalent circuit as this that is we have op amp is a voltage source that I put this here like this, this is a voltage source that voltage source has its own internal resistance and that is the internal resistance there and that is the load, this is the load, this is the load and this is the equivalent internal resistance say R0, this is the output voltage that is supposed to be present at the output this is the V0 and this is the actual voltage that is supposed to come across the load. So, uh, similar to the discussion that we had earlier that in the case of battery we had internal resistance R0 uh, here also the up amp also has its own internal resistance and then when you change the load then the voltage across this will change depending upon the internal resistance that it is uh, having. So, this is true for any voltage source, for any voltage source, for any voltage source, any voltage source, there is a finite, there is a finite internal resistance. Internal resistance. So, uh, output voltage will change with the load. Voltage will change with the load. The same thing happens in the up amp. The question is how much is, is the change? So, for uh, in the case of up amp, in the case of up amp, what is what is R not internal resistance? That is the uh, question actually. And then why it should change uh, with the load and also it changes with the gain. And uh, what is R zero? So we look at this. Uh, we we'll, we can uh, the, see this uh, carefully in the following manner. What we can do is we take uh, operation amplifier, then. I apply some input voltage, assume I give some gain G, and assume it has its known internal resistance connect to this, then uh, that is the output voltage. Then assume that I have a load here, this is a load, assume this resistance say RF R1 are very high. That is, there is no uh, essentially not much current is flowing, negligible current is flowing through RF and R1. Assuming, assuming RF and R1, R1 are large, very large, very large. We can assume, we can uh, assume R not large, we can take it as, we can, we can, we can take it as. Uh, take it, take I s, I s the actual current, I s the full current of op amp. So, we assume that the I is the full current of the operation amplifier. Now, uh, if you look at the operation amplifier, what is the actual resistance involved inside this R? Uh, there is a uh, because it is acting as a source, it has its own resistance. 
this is actually if you look at our uh, earlier uh, uh, up amp circuit that you know we have uh, this for example in this case our classical up amp circuit if we take this is V0. Now, for example, this resistance will be the uh, output resistance of the upper because we give here plus 15 and minus 15 volt and we have uh, uh, of course, assume that I give you some input voltage here. Then the output uh, the in this case uh, in this case uh, the low this resistance R the resistance the resistance R is acting as a is acting as a internal resistance internal resistance. But the but the output world if I load this one, if I load this, this is a load, the output load the uh, in this case uh, are acting as internal reasons but the effective but the effective output reasons effective output reasons output resistance is not r this is because suppose if i load this if this voltage changes then uh, effectively, so for example, if I load this, then if this voltage decreases, then this voltage also will decrease. Uh, the, this also will decrease, and that uh, the this all this voltage also will decrease. Then uh, since this is uh, this decreased, and relative, uh, so this this current will increase. So if this decreases and this decreases and it increases this current, and that will increase the output voltage. Because of the feedback, up am compensates most of the voltage loss that is taking place because of the current flowing uh, uh, in, in the internal resistance R. So, the effect, so the effective output uh, resistance is not really R, it is much smaller than the R. This is because you have a current I flowing here, then we expect R into I is the voltage drop. But then uh, that reduction in voltage that you know the current flowing through this reduces the voltage here that reduces the voltage at this point and that makes more current flow here and more uh, voltage appears here to compensate. So, most of the loss that is taking place on the internal resistance of the up amp is compensated because of the feedback action. Because of the closer feedback action most of the loss is compensated. Uh, because of the closed loop feedback feedback most of the most of the voltage voltage that is lost uh, is uh, is compensated but not exact, uh, not fully. But most of the voltage that uh, that we have lost is put back because of the feedback action. Uh, this is because of the closed loop feedback action. That is the reason that effective uh, resistance is not R; it is much smaller than R. So the effective resistance, re the so the effective output resistance, effective output resistance, output resistance is much smaller than R. This is because the because of the closed loop feedback. So, the same thing happens in the case of uh, operation amplifier also. So, if I have the circuit uh, here, then if I give the input voltage and if I put the load here, then if I change the uh, load here, if I change the load, uh, then current flowing through this changes I and then the current flowing through this also I. So, voltage across this, the voltage drop, voltage drop across this resistance also changes, voltage 
drop changes. If the voltage uh, uh, across this changes, then we expect the output voltage to change here. Then the, when the output voltage changes, that change is reflected here and that corrects it back that is basically it increases this voltage. For example, if I, in, if I increase the current I, then the voltage decreases here that decreases the voltage here and that increases this voltage uh, such that this voltage is put back to the original value. Uh, so, that the loss uh, in the internal resistance is partly compensated. So, effectively you see very small change in the output voltage due to the current change this is because of the feedback. So, effectively we say the effective output voltage change is the effective output voltage change changes much smaller. This we represent with the new internal resistance, the effective internal resistance. So, and then we call this uh, effective output voltage changes uh, much smaller that is equal to R 0 into I where we call R 0 is the uh, uh, effective internal resistance or simply we call output resistance of the up amp where R 0 is where R 0 is uh, uh, effective output resistance effective output resistance of the up amp. Where R0 is much smaller than R, for example, in a typical op amp, in a typical op amp circuit, in a, in a typical op amp circuit, circuit uh, R actually equal to around 100 ohms, but R0 uh, is, but R0 is uh, few milli ohms. So, this, uh, 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 this computation is not difficult that we can uh, really do that assuming that you know the current I is the uh, output current then if I is the output current then I can find out what is the voltage uh, drop here that would be R into I. But then we know that this voltage is not the change here is not R into I because uh, this change whatever if that much change occurs then that will change this voltage and immediately this will be increased and again uh, this will try to come back to the original value. But then we know that without load this voltage is less with load this voltage have to increase because suppose if I increase uh, reduce the resistance the current will increase that increase in current actually increase the voltage here that uh, uh, that will actually reduce the voltage here then that will reduce the voltage that will increase this voltage. So, eventually this voltage will be increased to get back this, but then this increase takes place because there is a decrease in voltage here and there is a decrease in voltage here. So, uh, uh, eventually voltage at this point you know if I look at the voltage at this point with and without this load then you will find with the load the voltage at this point say I call it is uh, uh, in non inverting terminal the inverting terminal. So, at inverting terminal the voltage have to decrease uh, with load. Uh, so, uh, uh, in the typical up amp it is around 100 ohms for example, if I have uh, about 10 milliampere current flowing here uh, through this then 100 ohm into 10 uh, milliampere that will give you about 1 volt drop across this that means, if it is originally uh, 10 volt it will drop to 9 volt then this voltage will decrease that will make this voltage to go up to close to 11 and then this you will get back to 10 that is what in um, real life happens. So, in uh, real life uh, when the in real in, uh, in real life when load resistance is decreased. Load resistance is decreased. Decrease the 
the voltage voltage at the inverting terminal inverting terminal terminal decreases decreases uh, decreases so that so that output voltage output voltage uh, uh, is put back voltage is put back so uh, that means I assume that the voltage change at uh, uh, put back, but there will be uh, some voltage, but output voltage will not be equal to the original value. So, but output voltage voltage will not be equal to equal to original value because output voltage if the you know, voltage at inverting terminal have to change, uh, then output voltage also have to change because output voltage change only changes the voltage at the uh, inverting terminal. So, when you load the when you load the op amp, this voltage have to change and that also have to change and this voltage have to increase. So, this this is what happens, but some small change the, uh, in the output is expected. So, if we can write the equation for this. Then we can write, um, uh, we can quantify what is the change that is expected, and then we can also uh, uh, write down what is the expected uh, output voltage change. Uh, so uh, we assume that you know uh, current is high, and uh, uh, actual resistance of the op amp is R. So uh, uh, voltage drop, voltage drop. On the internal resistance of the op amp. Op amp is equal to R into I. This is because uh, the current I had to go through the internal resistance. Assume, assume. Uh, the effective the effective output resistance is output resistance resistance is r zero this is after compensation the effective uh, output resistance r zero that may, that is uh, r zero into i is the output voltage change with the feedback with everything that if I load it, load with the current I, then output of the op amp changes by this much amount. Then I take that R0 as the output resistance equal to output voltage change. Because that is how the uh, uh, internal resistance is defined. That is, if the output voltage change, uh, change must be equal to R0 and I. So, R0 is the uh, effective output resistance, I is the load current. Uh, so, uh, effective output resistance is uh, uh, R 0. So, output voltage change is uh, I. So, we now got the output voltage change which is R 0 into I. If the output voltage changes, then what is the voltage change at the inverting terminal of the op amp? Uh, so, what is the what is the voltage change? change at the inverting terminal of the op amp terminal of the op amp that actually uh, that is actually divided by gain because uh, whatever voltage change that is happening at the output output of the op amp that should be reflected to the inverting terminal so the we have the gain resistance here so whatever change that is taking place here that have to make a change here by the by the gain times so if, uh, so what the the FA, the voltage change voltage change 
at negative uh, negative input is input is is uh, uh, r 0 i divided by g. Because g is the closed loop gain. So, because uh, if you find that you know that uh, this voltage divided by the ratio of these two resistors because uh, output voltage divided by, uh, by the ratio of these resistors uh, which is nothing but a gain. So, uh, 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 the, uh, the output the voltage change at minus terminal is uh, r 0 i by g. So, where g is the closed loop gain. G is the closed loop uh, gain. Now, uh, so the, we got a voltage change at the inverting terminal. If the inverting terminal voltage changes uh, this much R0 i by G, then what is the change at the output? Because we can find if the minus terminal change occurs by R0 i by G, then output uh, uh, at change by AD because in any uh, in uh, up amp the difference between these two voltages amplified by the open loop gain is the output voltage. So, if this point changes by some x, then output will change by x into A d. So, uh, where g is the open loop gain. Now, next question is what is the what is the relation between relation between change at the minus terminal and the out change at the output so between change in voltage in voltage at minus negative terminal and and at output terminal that is actually uh, 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 change change at inverting terminal terminal into A is output voltage change. Because uh, 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 the change here that has to happen at the uh, output. So, I can write like this. So, if I take uh, uh, R as the output, then R into I is the uh, change that is taking place at the uh, we have written down already this one uh, that is output voltage change that is actually equal to R 0 uh, into I divided by G that is the input voltage uh, the negative terminal change into A because uh, the A is the open loop gain and uh, this this term this term gives what is the change at the minus terminal and that multiplied by the A gives you the uh, output voltage uh, change actually. So, that is the uh, actual voltage drop across the uh, up amps internal, uh, internal resistance. So, now if we remove uh, I then you will get that R actually coming as R 0 a by G, where uh, R 0 is coming as a output resistance. So, if I can write that one uh, uh, change this one that comes R into G by A. So, output resistance is related by because related by uh, closed loop gain and open loop gain. So, output resistance output resistance are not R into G by A. R for example, R for example, for example, more for most of the upam, for most of the upam, R is R is equal to 100 ohms. So what is R naught comes? For example, if it is 100 ohms, and if I have a gain of 100 G 100 and open loop gain of 20,000. This is open loop gain. 
and this is closed loop gain. And uh, this is the internal resistance of the up arm. So, uh, that actually if you compute this, it comes. So, R naught actually uh, comes, you have uh, 10 power 4 divided by uh, 2 into 10 power 4, that comes 0.5 ohms. 0.5 ohms. So, that is the output resistance of arm, it is not uh, 0. Now, this is actually for the 741 we have taken typical values because for 741 the typical value is this is uh, around 100 ohms and then we are given 100 gain and open loop gain is around uh, 20,000. But same 741 for example, if I give a unity gain voltage for air, for voltage for air, for 741, for voltage for air. Uh, R naught actually is becoming 100 into 1 divided by 20,000, which actually uh, makes uh, 1 by 200 that is equal to 5 milli ohms. So, when the gain is uh, when the closed loop gain is less, then the output remains also comes down. When the closed loop gain is low, then output uh, when the closed loop gain is low, gain is less, then the output resistance also low. Also low. That is why voltage failure gives the lowest uh, resistance. So, so voltage follower, voltage follower gives lowest output reasons. Similarly, uh, we had seen earlier, if the uh, gain is less, the input reasons also less. That is, the closed loop gain is less, the input reasons also uh, very high. So, if I have a voltage follower, then this is so lowest uh, uh, output resistance and highest input resistance. So, this must be voltage follower, voltage follower gives highest input resistance. S input reasons. Then second one is the voltage follower gives you the lowest uh, output reasons. Gives lowest output reasons. Because this one have to uh, realize because uh, that is why very often at the input stage we use voltage follower to get a, a highest input resistance and then also it gives you the lowest output uh, resistance. And if you increase the gain then the output resistance will go up. For example, if I take 741 and I find try to find out what is uh, R naught for th say a, th a thousand gain then uh, for if the, it is 100 ohms is the internal resistance. If I go for 1000 gain and with the 20000 uh, closed loop gain, you will have uh, 5 ohm as output resistance. For 1000 gain, for G is equal to 1000, uh, then output resistance, output resistance, resistance uh, goes up to 5 ohms. This is very large actually. So, one should not think that always output resistance of the op amp is uh, uh, close to 0 and it is constant. It can be very high if you try to get uh, more uh, gain and um, the, what kind of error that then it, this output resistance gives because we have seen 
that output traces the op amp is not 0 and it varies with the gain. If you want highest gain then reduce the uh, uh, closed loop gain. Uh, now let us see what is the uh, uh, error in the output, what is the problem because of this output traces. Because we have to remember that if I have a op amp circuit then if I am loading it, if I am uh, loading it we have the load then if I change this then I can th this output voltage will be changing. How much it will be changing that will be R0 into delta I that is the change that one should look at this point. This is an uncompensated error this, uh, this is after compensation this is the change that is uh, accepted. So, we write that this is a change this is the delta I is uh, this is uh, change after compensation after uh, after compensation after compensation this is the change that is uh, expected in the uh, op amp terminal. Uh, so, one can find out what is R0 from the uh, manufactured data sheet because R0 can be find out by uh, uh, the actual R value, R value is given by the manufacturer in the data set. In the data set. So, on, once that is known, then closed loop gain and open loop gain uh, also have uh, closed loop gain uh, you will know and open loop gain also we can find from the data sheet and then one can find out the output resistance. And once output resistance R0 is known uh, one can uh, find out the what is delta I and uh, then multiplication of that gives you the actual output voltage change. Now, uh, this error is uh, to be taken into consideration in addition to the other errors that we have discussed. The other errors that we have discussed is uh, what is the uh, 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 bias current error, then what is the input resistance error, what is the gain drift error, all that uh, to be considered uh, in this case. Now, one more aspect is that this current that is flowing here through the feedback resistance also comes from the output. So, if I put this resistance, so this also load for the output only. So, feedback resistance uh, because we had uh, originally started we are assuming R f is large, but in actual case uh, uh, R f also acts as a load for the op amp. Uh, in real use in uh, real life real case R f also acts as a load. So, if R f is small then output resistance also uh, uh, if R f is small if R f is small then uh, uh, output voltage will decrease, output voltage, voltage will decrease. That is why we should not use uh, small uh, low value of R f, if we use low value of R f then uh, output resistance, uh, output induced, uh, output resistance induced error will increase. So, for that is, so one should not use to use low value of value of R f. Particularly low value of R f is tempting because if I use a low value of for R f, vast current error will be small. Uh, should not use low value R f uh, because uh, because uh, low value of uh, okay. So that is a low value of R f. Uh, low value of uh, low value of R f. Low value of R f reduces the reduces the bias current error. But it will increase the it will increase the increase the 
output uh, resistance related error. Uh, normally, uh, uh, one cannot take more than 10 milliampere current, uh, uh, even if you put uh, uh, too low value of uh, uh, output resistance. So, normally the output related error is uh, somewhat uh, related, somewhat uh, less only compared to the bias current error, because one cannot take more than 10 milliampere current from the output of the upper, most of the upper, most of the upper, some up amps are capable of giving up to uh, 20 milliampere, but nevertheless, uh, the uh, you cannot take too much current from the output of the op amp. Uh, it should be noted that uh, it should be noted that output current out should be noted that uh, normally normally there is an internal limit. There is a, a internal current limit internal current limit current limit for every op amp op amp for most of the op amps for most of the op amp op amps the output current is limited to 10 milliampere most of the op amps output I is uh, I is limited to limited to 10 milliamps. So normally the uh, output related error is not uh, very high compared to the bias current error. So normally so normally uh, bias current error bias current limited error is much more than the output current bias current error, introduced error, bias current uh, related error much larger than output resistance related error. So, the uh, so normally uh, we are not much worried about the uh, output resistance error, but in some cases when the current drawn is much larger, then this error is a problem. For example, if I want to load heavily at the output, then uh, uh, since the current also limited, so normally what we do is we will bias this, we will re we reduce the output current using the uh, transistor. For example, if I need a very high current, the normal practice is that you take uh, the up amp and put a transistor. For example, I can have this arrangement. Then return the emitter to this. And give the input to this. So, you have the transistor T1 and then your load can be now very high. This is load. For example, the trans, uh, HFE of the transistor is 100. Assume uh, for HFE for H, uh, beta of, of the transistor be 100. If beta is 100, then we know that uh, uh, load current, this current I and this current uh, output current of the up related by beta, so I by 100. So, for load current of I, then the output current of the op amp is very small, 100 times uh, uh, lower. So, uh, now uh, the output uh, the output voltage error, we had compute only for uh, this reduced current, not for this current. For example, if I have a, uh, uh, 1 ampere current here and if HFP is uh, 100, then you will have only 10 milliampere current, which is the operation of error can give. So, we had to compute the output current error only for uh, 10 milliampere. And remember that we had uh, taken a feedback from the output here. You should not take a feedback from uh, this to this. For example, I should not connect in the following manner. Then you will not get the correct voltage. 
like uh, <coughs> plus 15 connect this connect this connect the input V input R f R 1. Now, uh, this is uh, if we are taking this output, then uh, this R f should not be the gain uh, R f by R 1, this resistance should not be connected here. So, this circuit is uh, 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 wrong, this connection is wrong, this, this is not acceptable. So, if you want to boost the current, the resistance uh, or the R f must be terminated to this point to the output, not to the output of the op amp. That is terminate this resistance to the output, uh, not to the output here, but to the output. So, what is normally done is you connect this one to here. This is ok, but this is not acceptable. So, one have to uh, because once you connect uh, this resistance here, uh, that is if I connect, uh, if I connect this here, the base emitter voltage change, you know the uh, anyway base current will be very small only, because the loading effect is very small, because this base current is small, because the HFE of the transistor takes care most of the current and most of the current is coming from here and the base current is small. But nevertheless, that base emitter voltage change which is uh, 0.6, that is not uh, compensated by the closed loop, because uh, this uh, 0.6 voltage loss will be there if this is uh, connected. So, base emitter voltage drop will be a loss, VBE, uh, VBE is a loss and this also the VBE changes with temperature, VBE changes is a loss and VBE changes with temperature. That is why one should not uh, connect uh, like this. So, if you want to connect then connect the RF directly to the output. Now, this actually we can see even in the uh, our voltage regulator circuit which we had seen is uh, a type of uh, uh, output resistance reduction circuit only, because we can see if you look at the uh, voltage regulator circuit, uh, we will get like this, that is we have a unregulated voltage here, then we will connect the up amp circuit. In fact, we put a Darlington if you want very high current, so we connected this, we connected uh, this here. So, we are connected the output of that to this. For example, I connect this here. This is a we call this a voltage regulator. This is V reference, and we have discussed already this one. This is a voltage regulator circuit. Voltage regulator. Actually, it is not a voltage regulator. Uh, it can also be considered as it can also be also be considered as non-inverting amplifier. Because you see, if I look at it, I do not see this a voltage regulator. If I see as a non-inverting amplifier, what actually happens? We, you see, we are, we, instead of calling V reference, we call this the input voltage. And these two are feedback resistance that I call it as R f and R 1 feedback resistance. So, this voltage whatever you are giving input voltage is uh, multiplied by this R f by R 1 plus R f by R 1 is what it appears at the output. So, V output I can write it as V output V output is equal to V R into 1 plus R f by R 1. So, this is acting as a gain, is acting as a gain and reference acting as a input voltage, 
reference is uh, acting as a input voltage. So, uh, the input I can call this is a uh, voltage regulator is nothing but an inverting amplifier with low output resistance that is output resistance reduced by using the Darlington pair. So, here Darlington pair acts as a output impedance reduction, output resistance reduction. And also to boost the current, because up amp cannot give uh, uh, too much current, you know, uh, it cannot give more than 10 milliampere current. So, this multiply by beta, multiply by beta is what the output current comes. So, I can say this is a uh, uh, inverting, non inverting amplifier with low output resistance. So, it is a, it is a, it is a non inverting amplifier. Letting amplifier with low output resistance now uh, assume that you know what is the output resistance of the uh, of this circuit so if i have here for example 10 milliampere current then if i have 100 ohm resistance here then one can expect 1 volt uh, 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 drop across this or I can say the output uh, at the op amp output what is the resistance, uh, what is the uh, output resistance at the output of the op amp, at the output of the op amp, uh, uh, the we can write R 0 into I that is 10 milliampere is the change uh, is the is the expected change. Now, uh, now for a typical case if I take what is the R 0, R 0 actually in this case is uh, uh, 100 ohms and then we have a, op a closed loop gain and open loop gain if we calculate for example if i have uh, uh, in this case you know uh, if i take at this point then i say that it is a uh, open loop circuit or if i take this as my output that's what we are doing then this can be taken as a reason suppose if they are equal then the gain is actually uh, closed loop gain is uh, 1 so, uh, in that case uh, 1 plus 1 2, so uh, the output resistance becomes 2 by 20,000 that actually become 200 by 20,000 which actually uh, because 1 by 100 that is 10 milli ohms. So, output resistance will be 10 milli ohms and then at the output of the op amp then we can expect uh, 10 milli ohm into 10 milliampere current uh, that is 100 micro volt change expected because of the output uh, resistance itself. Of course, the output voltage change here uh, are due to many uh, other uh, reasons that is when normally when you make a voltage regulator instead of the battery we will feed a uh, unregulated voltage then this voltage itself drops with the load current then the supply voltage also changes then the uh, current flowing through this changes all that contributes for uh, output uh, uh, voltage regulation. So, the which we are now which we already discussed uh, earlier which we need not repeat it here. So, the voltage regulator circuit what we are seeing is a kind of circuit which actually uh, uh, is having a reduced uh, output resistance circuit it is nothing and uh, no need to be called as a voltage regulator. It is only question of how we uh, look at the circuit and uh, a different angle. So, uh, what is the other effects of output resistance? For example, sometimes you will connect uh, the circuit like this. For example, if I have a operational for circuit, now I give the input, assume I have a load here, which is assume it is quite low. I am not using any uh, this thing that is uh, any transistor to boost the current. So, this is a load. Then I put the resistance here 
this one. The other reasons I can do like this, I can connect it to this point, then I can also connect it to this. Other way of doing this would be here itself I draw that, that is I can connect this way. I can uh, connect it this way, say I can have a load, have this, then connect this at this point. Now, compare these two circuits. If I take these two circuits, this is a good circuit, this is the practice to be followed, this should not be followed. The reason is, if you look at this, that this voltage drop, the current that is flowing here, you know this has a resistance R and the current I is flowing the load current is uh, I very substantial, then there is a voltage drop of R into I. This R into I also compensated by the closed loop uh, 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 action, the feedback action compensates this loss to extend R into I by uh, uh, AD into G. So, th that is not there in this case. For example, here you have a voltage, this voltage loss, this voltage loss is not taken care, voltage loss is not taken care. So, one have to use only this type of circuit uh, in the actual usage. Um, so, the uh, actually the uh, I will call this A and B. So, voltage loss between A and B is taken care, voltage drop between A and B is taken care in this circuit. It is not taken care in this circuit, not taken care. So, the, uh, the first circuit only to be used for this purpose. Uh, we will close the, this discussion uh, with this. We will see in the next class uh, uh, the consolidated application of uh, uh, all these errors. Uh, and then we move on to the AC applications. Thank you.